big dog and at the point guard position. And this season has taken a toll on both teams, Brent, with each missing key players heading into this game. Man, I really do love, though, the next man up mentality of both of these squads. Injuries are unfortunately part of this very, very long season. But it's up to both teams to power through. Tip-off goes to New Orleans. And a major move for MP off the court, Grant. It's been announced that MP will be the cover athlete for NBA 2K25, which is due out in the fall. Well, smart move by 2K. They know how big of a draw MP is right now. I might have to get my pre-order in after the game. Thanks for reminding me there, B.A. Now here's Bridges. Nails the baby hook. That's just tremendous scoring instinct. So fun to watch him work in the half court. Here's Big Dog. Turned in an outstanding game against Dallas. Valanchunas down low. Richards is there. Counted from distance. Big Dog's got six. Terrific feed from Valanchunas. A big man scanning the deck. And we're about a minute into the first. Milikina, the pass to Richards. Now here's Hayward, guarded closely. Five to shoot. Back to Richards. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. That's on Jonas Valanciunas. The defense there doing whatever they can to protect the rim. Well, Grand Hornets head coach Steve Clifford said that the team needs to start winning if they want to keep LaMelo Ball. And he's not wrong, B.A. I mean, they view Ball as the cornerstone of the franchise, but they have to give him a reason to stay. He is indeed a special talent, and winning is his ultimate priority. And the first one at the line is good. And Brent, for the Pelicans, it seems like it's a matter of time before Willie Green's group puts it all together. Now, they certainly have the pieces, and on paper, B.A., they are very, very scary. It's a young and talented core, and there's no reason that these guys should not be moving up in the Western Conference standings. That one falls, so he hits both of them. New Orleans has gone two of two at the perimeter. Pass to Jones. From the left block. And it's New Orleans with another. Bit of a picture-perfect start here to this game. They've connected on all three looks. First quarter, just over a minute and a half in. Here's Nelikina. Hayward outside. Screen by Bridges. Hayward, good. Here's Big Dog. He has six. Pass to Marshall. Here's Valanchunas, covered by Richards. Stolen! Bridges down low. Marshall's there. The score now all even. Bridges has gotten his second bucket on the night. I love this approach. Getting him involved early, and it's already paying off. Well, he's going to just keep going now. That's early confidence for him. Just over two and a half minutes played here in the first. Big Dog passes to Marshall. Here's Big Dog. Valanchuna sets a screen. Four on the clock. No good. Good work defensively by Richards. And here's Bridges. He'll bring it up for Charlotte. They're coming off a loss against Miami. Hey, they had their chances, but they struggled from the line. It's so hard to win that way on someone else's floor. You cannot afford to do that when you're in an opponent's building. you got to knock down free throws. That cost him. Nance, he's checked in for Valanchunas. And we're about three minutes into this first quarter. Hayward outside. Richards with a screen. 
Hayward, the pass to Richards. Oh, stolen by Nance. Oh, and a fast break for the Pelicans. Deflected. Second chance shot. The three. And that's good. His first bucket of the game. This is what Murphy does. He gets the ball and instantly gets up shots. First quarter of action, just under three and a half minutes played. Here's Nelikina. Oh, trying his luck from deep. Jones grabs the board. New Orleans has gone three of three from outside and looking sharp here in the first. Pass to Big Dog. Let's it go from deep. The Hornets pull it in. Last time they met was in Charlotte. <laughs> there obviously was a breakdown at the defensive end. They gave away too many clean looks. Yeah, sometimes you can play good on-ball defense, but it's the help defense that makes you elite. And on that night, nobody rotating and not a lot of help. Yeah, they've been pretty careless so far, racking up a number of fouls in very little time. Pass to Nilakina. Back to Bridges. Hayward with it. Clock at six. Here's Nilakina. Charlotte again missing. For New Orleans, they've gone four of eight and looking in control. Big Dog passes to Nance. Nance the screen. Here's Jones. Two shots, two makes. Off to a good start. The paint, that's where Jones likes to live, and that's where he's comfortable. And he can use that length to his advantage. For Charlotte, they've gone three of five here in the opening quarter. Here's Nelikina. Now here's Hayward. Bridges. And it's Bridges with the jam. The B.A., when he gets the rim in his sights, it's tough to stop. So aggressive and a determined finisher. Nice. Now here's Jones. And right now he's currently putting up six and a half points per game. Great pass there from Herbert Jones. When someone's open, he'll find him. Charlotte has gone 0 for 2 from outside. Pass to Miller. Back to Hayward. From outside the arc. Connects from downtown. Hayward's got five points. You don't want to let him get into a rhythm from out there. Here's Big Dog. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Well, Grant, we're now basically at the halfway point of the regular season with each game gaining more importance as time goes on. I mean, that's it. We are at that time where the playoff picture becomes clear and teams are hungry for wins. So, you know, they know at this point of the season, every game matters. So you got to love how competitive things are right now. And he knocks down the first one. gets them both. A great player on a great role at the charity stripe. The D has got to be careful about being 
too aggressive on him and sending him back for freebies. Now here's Bridges. Coming in off 21 points in his last outing. And again, Charlotte with the triple. He still has it missed. Four for four to start the game. Here's Big Dog. Ten points for him. Right side, Jones. Here's Nance. And Nance with the slam! Yeah, for Nance Jr., it's about the quickness with which he can be impactful. For Charlotte, they've got six of eight shots to go. Bridges outside. Launches a three. Nance pulls down the board. New Orleans in the lead. On the wing, Jones. Nice finish from the low block. That one's good. He's got five. Man, with all the things he does, if you get Jones to be a facilitator, possibilities are endless. Milikina, the pass to Richards. Now Hayward. Richards with a screen. There's the steal. Here's the break. Jones with the ball. Fires the three. Gets the three to fall. And now an eight-point Pelican lead. And they've settled in quickly today. A nice flow and rhythm to their offense. Here's Nelikina. to Hayward can they get it out to Bridges here's the three the Pelicans pull it in they come into this one having outplayed the Mavericks last time out you have to respect their ability to stay consistent away from home keeping their cool and making quality shots well awesome to see in that last game how the motion in their offense didn't stop because they were in some hostile territory five on the clock Here's Marshall. A chance to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. Pass to Nilakina. Oh, from deep. Jones grabs the board. So far in this quarter, he's been out of sync and might be pressing right now. Oh, no. He may have gotten injured right there. Man, he's in a lot of pain. Yeah, that type of injury is always worrisome. Hopefully, he's okay. Yeah, it reminds you of what's really important, health 
number one. Everything else comes after that. Charlotte making some changes. Washington's checked in for Bridges. Martin comes in for Hayward. And it's Smith in for Nilakina. New Orleans has gone four of six from deep to start this game. Pass to Daniels. Inside. And down it goes. Dunked it through off a beautiful setup. They've shown so much energy right from the start, particularly on the offensive end. Yeah, if you walked in at any point during this game to watch five minutes of play, one team played harder. You know who that was. So far, rebounding has been a focal point for them. Zeller with a screen on Martin. Again gets it to go. He can't miss. Five for five. And their offensive game plan is clear. Get it inside and go to work. Smith outside. Martin, the pass to Smith. Here's Miller. Yet to see a basket. The three from Washington. Fires in the triple. And that's what you get from Brandon Miller. I mean, he can really whip passes there around the court. Alvarado outside. Pass to Zeller. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. It's going to be on Nick Richards. A chance to catch up on some numbers here. The scoring breakdown for the Pelicans. Well, they found a groove, and it's from distance, so knocking them down from the three-point land never hurts. Well, they've also done a great job of taking turnovers and producing out of that, working really hard that they're not wasting extra chances that they're creating. Free throw good. Zeller. And that's good as he hits both shots. The Hornets have gone 7 of 14 and looking in control. Washington right side. Pass to Miller. With his first shot attempt. Alvarado with a rebound. Well, mid-range is where he makes the money. So when the D's slow to get out on him, always surprising to see him miss from there. Here's Daniels. Hasn't gotten one to fall yet. Count that bucket. This has been just a dreadful start for them defensively. Not good at all. Right there. Now here's Smith. Alvarado defending. Here's Miller. And the rebound goes to the Pelicans. You know, when you look at Brandon Miller's skill set, this guy has the potential to be an elite scorer. And that's why so many are excited about him. A three-level scorer who possesses impressive length and a quick release. B.A., 
This kid is special. Shot clock at six. Daniels passes to Zeller. Comes up empty down low. Well, the Horn is shooting around 44% in this opening quarter. Zeller against Smith. Pass to Miller. Back to Richards. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. At the line for the Hornets, Nick Richards taking two shots. First free throw is good. The Hornets making a switch here. Hayward's checked in. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. New Orleans has gone four of six from deep to start this game. Alvarado outside. To the paint. Cuts off the pass. Now here's Smith. He's covered closely. 44 seconds left in the first quarter of the game. Washington a screen. Three-pointer. Nance pulls down the board. calls timeout and as we continue through January here are the latest power rankings taking a look at the 76ers they're building some momentum right now and aiming for a spot in the top five well I think for New Orleans they're doing exactly what they expected took some time to develop the chemistry but now they're playing great basketball on the court for Charlotte at the forward spots Hayward and Washington Smith out there with Cody Martin and it's Williams in at the five spot. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. The three-point shot changed the game, clearly. But did you see it becoming the centerpiece of so many teams' offense, Brent? I think it was inevitable in a way, B.A., but the way it got introduced to the league and the way that the seven seconds or less Phoenix Suns adapted to the three-point line and then eventually what the Rockets were doing, it kind of came in like a flood. And each year we're seeing more and more guys who you wouldn't think should be shooting threes now capable of not only taking them, but making them. And so that goes for every position. That makes the game very dangerous. Daniels has checked in for the Pelicans. Good on both. Quarter two and about two minutes in. Thanks, well, Big Dog in their last matchup against the Mavericks just played phenomenal. He tallied 32 points and hit a bunch of threes. No surprises there. If you look at his stats overall, he was just everywhere that night. Brian? All right, Allie, thanks for the update. It'll be interesting to see if he can heat up once again tonight, Grant. Yeah, you know he wants to do exactly this, B.A. Just needs to continue to play with the same fire and energy. And you want to see him make sure that the teammates are also involved in what they're doing, especially if he draws that much attention.
Charlotte has gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. Martin finds Smith. Washington with the ball. Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. The officials were right on top of that one. Team foul. Shooting for shots. P.J. Washington. Two shots. And he drops the first. Jones, he's checked in for Daniels. Bridges, he's checked in for Charlotte. Nilakina comes in for Smith. Hits one, then misses the second attempt from the line. And it's the Pelicans on the break. Big Dog can't get it to go. Quarter number two in around three minutes gone by. Williams passes to Bridges. Spins. The Pelicans pull it in. Nance has got five rebounds in the game. Pass to Alvarado. Here's Big Dog. 12 points for him. No good on the shot. Here's Nelikina, defended by Jones. Hayward for three, nails it from three. three. Hayward's gotten his third basket of the night. Yeah, a quality shooter from beyond the arc. Can't let Hayward get room to fire from the corners. Pass to Big Dog, fires from deep. And again, no good by New Orleans. Started out strong from three-point land. Hit two in the first quarter, but he's gone dry since. Bridges finds Washington. Back to Bridges. From deep, Hayward. Pelicans cleared away. And it's time for an injury report. Thanks. I got some news from New Orleans head athletic trainer. He said there was some strong pain in the chest area, especially when breathing in. Likely at least one rib is broken.
Unfortunately, he suffered a serious injury. Obviously, he won't return tonight, and he could miss lots of games. What a tough break for him in the team, DA. All right, that's good intel. We've definitely been thinking of him, and now we have some more clarity, guys. Yeah, they now have all the information they need in order to determine the next steps. Everybody wishing the best for him. We all know how badly he wants to be out there playing alongside his teammates and competing. And it's the Pelicans with the ball. The Hornets making their last shot, and he's able to get it back. Here's Nance. And Nance with the slam! Just so easy the way Larry Nance Jr. just gets up off the floor. Now Hayward. He had a 15-point outing in their last game against the Heat in Miami. As passing another high point in that game, he made sure it wasn't all about him. He wanted to get his teammates involved. Now here's Hayward. Pass to Nilakina. Down to five on the shot clock. Now here's Washington. And the three off target. Here's Big Dog. He's guarded by Bridges. Nance. Oh, nice fake, but the layup's off the mark. Charlotte has gone just one of five so far this quarter from three. Hayward outside. Here's Williams. Pass to Nilakina. Bridges outside. Takes the three. Here's Williams. Rebounded by New Orleans. And they're plus five on the boards after that rebound. Throws it up high. And Nance with the slam. Yeah, you can throw it just about anywhere for Larry Nance Jr. And then he'll know what to do with it. And Hayward has got the... Ball here for Charlotte. It's a 16-point game. They'll face the Spurs at home after this one. And that's the first of just two home games for them. Bridges against Jones. Pass to Nilakina. Clock at four. And the miss. Not the best shot selection there. The Pelicans have gone just five of 12 here in the second quarter. Again, the Pelicans good for two. Of all the action happening there, it's the assist that jumps out to me there. That's just a great look and a great setup for the bucket. Now here's Hayward. Ten points for him. Williams is screened on Jones. Bridges passes to Washington. Sends it home from three-point land. Washington's got seven points in the game. And that's on the defense, giving him a decent look. That's his shot. Pass to Alvarado. Nance with a screen on Hayward. Alvarado into the lane. And the layup is good off the glass. Alvarado's gotten his second bucket. Hey, they're just getting pushed around inside.
Here's Nilakina. Now here's Williams. Hayward with it. Vance covering. Here's Williams. Can't hit it from 12 feet. New Orleans has gone 5 of 10 from beyond the three-point line in this game. Here's Big Dog. 15 points in the game. And he makes it on the layup. He's got 17. Boy, absolutely no rim protection, leading to a lot of easy buckets here. If they're going to go on a run, Grant, there's no better time than right now. You're so right, B.A. I think they definitely expected a closer game than this. Now, here's Williams. And he makes it. Williams has got his second basket of the night. Good execution. They're getting some short-range looks here. For New Orleans, they've gone 8 of 15 in the second. Now, here's Alvarado, guarded by Hayward. Here's Big Dog. And the Pelicans hit again from deep. Exactly what every offense needs. Shooters who can force the defense to extend. Oh, there's no doubt he's a legitimate threat from downtown, and he's demonstrating that in this game. Now a timeout called by Charlotte. making a switch here. Valanchunas has checked in. Richards has checked in for Charlotte. Miller comes in for Hayward. Here's Nelikina. Pass to Miller. Screen by Bridges. Jones grabs the board. Jones has got five rebounds tonight. They really have a commanding lead, not just in points, but in rebounds as well. And Nance is so athletic and so springy and bouncy out there on the floor, he can draw a lot of contact like that. good on the free throw. And I heard Giannis Antetokounmpo say he would have loved to go to your alma mater, Grant, because of all the tall and skilled players that have come out of Duke. You know, B.A., I'm not sure he mentioned me on that list, but certainly nice to hear that from Giannis. Daniels has checked in for New Orleans. And he sinks the second. Well, Larry Nance Jr. came into the league and a lot of talk about his dunking prowess. But really, Larry Nance Jr. knows how to play the game and is building on that potential. Here's Miller. 14 points for him. Last game against Miami. 
that better than giving up the layup, you want to go in there and use the hard foul. They did it there. That's aggressive attitude defensively. Here's Big Dog. Pass to Valanciunas. Now Jones. Here he goes. Richards pulls it in. A difficult situation for Charlotte. Trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed. A rough stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. Richards with a screen. Bridges passes to Richards. And he goes in for the dunk. This can make it so much easier. For to him right on the money, whether that's on the run or in the shooting pocket. Big dog. Seven for 12 and going at the defense. Just how awesome is it to watch the best of the best start to dominate in a game. One fifty-six left to play in the half. Nilakina, the pass to Bridges. Here's Miller. It's Bridges on the wing, defended by Jones. Nilakina misses. Well, this has been a night where you can look at his shooting and his performance, and it's affected the team. That's the bottom line. Big Dog can't get it to go. The Hornets shooting just 37% from the field in the second quarter. Gives us a chance to catch up with Allie LaForce. CJ McCollum sometimes gets overlooked, but he said, quote, I just do my job. It's about team success. I'm going to be more efficient and more consistent. I'm going to make plays, make shots, and try to help us win. Brian? He's a great team leader, has a great perspective on his place in the game. Thanks, Alec. That one goes.
got nine points. Here's Nelikina. 54 seconds left to play in the first half. Now here's Bridges. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Nick Richards. That'll be a second foul of the game. Third team foul. Hayward, he's checked in for Charlotte. New Orleans has gone 6 for 12 from deep so far in this game. Pass to Daniels. Here's Big Dog. And here's Valanciunas. Ooh, the lead pass was in the perfect spot to set up the layup. Valanciunas has got his first basket. And force feeding the ball inside. I mean, no reason to go away from what's working. Shot clock and game clock. One second differential. Here's Miller, still without a bucket. Shot clock at five. Fires the three. No good there. And so it's New Orleans up 25 big ones as we head into the next period. They're communicating well and stringing together stops. And don't go far. We'll be right back. Thanks for joining us, everybody. An uphill battle so far for the Charlotte Hornets. Terrible three-point shooting. I understand it's about analytics, but they need actions inside the arc because they can't hit from outside at all. Keeping it true and real. What do the kids call it? Trill? All right, guys. Now let's take a glance at the injuries that both of these teams are dealing with. New Orleans dealing with some injury issues. Unfortunately, Brandon Ingram is hurt. A gigantic loss. He could score when you got nothing going. He can play point forward. He can handle the basketball. He can set his teammates up. They can't make up this production with one guy. Glad you could join us. Ryan Anderson and crew are ready to take it away for the start of the third quarter. There wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. Here's Nelikina. We've got Herb Jones, Trey Murphy up there with Larry Nance. Then there's Jonas Valanciunas, and it's Big Dog in at the one. That's the group for Willie Green getting going here in the second half. Bridges passes to Richards. Six to shoot. Nilakina gets the bucket. Nilakina's gotten himself going with a triple. His first basket of the game. New Orleans is shooting the ball at 60%. An excellent average. On the wing, Jones. To the inside. Big dog. Good. And that basket makes him 8 for 14 for the game. They're winning the battle down low by imposing their will. Hayward with it. Pass to Bridges. Second half rolling along. About a minute played here. Richards' shot is off. They've shown the power inside. Their rebounding effort has been sensational. Here's Big Dog, guarded by Hayward. Big Dog can't get it to go. And here's Bridges. He'll bring it up for Charlotte. Pass to Nilakina. He shoots a three. And the rebound goes to the Pelicans. Vance has got rebound number eight now. 
Here's Big Dog. He's guarded by Bridges. Big Dog passes to Nance. Here's Big Dog. Tries again. Richards pulls it in. Richards has got four rebounds now. The third quarter has not started well just... One of four. Hayward, the pass to Richards. Shoots over Valanchunas. Again, the miss by the Hornets. The Pelicans have gotten only one of four shots to fall in the second half. Pulls it. Hey, he's now six for six. He is cooking right now. And just executing at a high level. I mean, taking what the defense allows and putting in the work. Basketball IQ is something that gets talked about, but... It's importance to a team showing up here, running plays that turn into scores. Here's Miller. After the Pelicans picking up a basket a moment ago. Bridges with it. Guarded by Valanchunas. Bridges misses. Team starts the second half missing four of five shots. When does the coach possibly call a timeout and reiterate what he talked about at halftime? Sinks it from distance. I love it. Just thumbing his nose at the height disadvantage. He's able to get the space he needs and convert. Yeah, defense has got to be a little bit better, especially when he's looking to fire from that distance. Here's Miller. No made baskets yet. To the middle. Here's Richards. No good. And they can't put it into the drought. The Pelicans have gotten three of six shots to fall so far in the third. Pass to Big Dog. Bridges on the double. And a bit of a jump battle ball, for the ball, 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 ball. And the officials signal a jump ball here. Down low. Here's Richards. Oh, a great one-two punch. Beautiful pass and a nasty jam. What a two-way play. Just tremendous. Yeah, the steal was slick. The slam topped it off. And we say it time and time again, so I'll repeat it. Have to be careful with the ball, or this is what happens. Now here's Valanchunas. Good work defensively by Richards. Now here's Hayward. Defense right on him. Misses with the fallback, Jay. You get a feeling that he made that much more difficult than he had to. No reason why he had to fade away on that jumper. Big Dog passes to Valanchunas. Lays it up and banks it in. Well, a little physicality for a little guy goes a long way. But a little physicality from a big guy, that goes Valanchunas' way. Charlotte has gone one of two shooting from the perimeter since halftime. Pass to Richards. To the middle. Stolen by Valanchunas. Here's Big Dog. 27 points for him. He takes it in to the paint. And the dunk by Valanchunas. And Valanchunas on the roll. Really hard to convince somebody to get in front of that. And so it's Charlotte with it. And here is Hayward. And the call is going to be, yes, an illegal screen. And now a peek at some of the players competing for a spot in the dunk contest. All of them true dunk artists who can do some spectacular things in the air. And I can't wait to see what these guys have dreamed up this year. The level of athleticism and creativity that goes into this contest is what makes it so incredible to watch. You look at Miller and... I
I could see him moving even higher up in the ranks. He's certainly a talented guy up in the air. He is for sure, but this list is just packed with real aerial artists. This dunk contest is really going to be something special. And there you have it. This year's dunk contest field looks incredible. We'll keep you up to date in the voting. That is always a highlight of All-Star Weekend. Watching guys just fly through the air. And I enjoy watching all of the guys on that list slam it home. And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for the Pelicans. I mean, they've played some beautiful basketball all game. The passing has been impressive, and it's opened up things with their ball movement. And I feel like there's been an old school aspect to what they've done tonight, and that is pounding the ball inside, getting it down low, getting those looks in close. That's been effective. First one falls for him. He's perfect from the line this time. The Hornets have gotten just 25% of their shots to fall since the half. Two for eight. Richards with a screen. The fader. Bridges misses. Well, the defense was right up on him, so electing to go for the fadeaway there to create some room. Well, that makes sense. Here's Big Dog. He has 29 now. Just five to shoot. That one a little long. Charlotte's gone one of two shooting from the perimeter since halftime. Jones against Hayward. Bridges outside. Pass to Nilakina from the arc. Valanchunas with a rebound. Valanchunas has got seven rebounds in the game. Hey, the struggle is real. He hasn't found much success with his offense today. And for the Hornets, they're shooting just 33% so far in this game. Now Hayward. Ten points for him. Here's Miller. Alvarado defending. Here's Nilakina. Knocks it down from distance. Nilakina's got his second bucket on the night. After not having a three during the first half, he's made two now, the second half, and he looks hungry for more. Big Dog passes to Valanchunas. Now here's Alvarado. Not a lot of room. They set the pick. Here's Big Dog. Soft touch off the glass. Big Dog's got nine points now in the quarter. He's played a huge role in this game to this point, but it looks like he just wants more. He wants to make sure that this lead holds up. Hayward against Jones. Pass to Miller. Inside. Oh, it's blocked by Valanchunas. You can feel the presence as Valanchunas gets himself in the right spot. It's been an ugly quarter for him. Trying to shoot his way out of it. Might be time to work on the playmaking skills. And that's just nasty right there, guys. He has a tremendous crossover. For New Orleans, they've gotten six of their first 12 shots to drop in this third. Alvarado outside. Valanchunas down low. Covered by Richards. Valanchunas, good. Making the easy shots and the tough shots. He's on top of his game. Here's Nilakina. He's got six. Pass to Miller. Here's Nilakina. Elbow shot. That shot off. On offense, here are the Pelicans. They're on a 17-7 run. And a two-handed jam! A couple of occasions, this team has needed a spark tonight, and Murphy has been the guy to give it to them. So it's the Hornets now. Nilakina, the pass to Richards. Over to the wing. Hey, puts up a three. Rebounded by New Orleans. 
And after this one, they're at home against Phoenix. And that'll be their second of four total games at home. Alvarado outside. Pass to Valanchunas. The jump hook. And another basket for New Orleans. Valanchunas, one of the bigger men in the league. And he loves to live in the paint. Charlotte's gone two for five from three since halftime. Here's Miller. Here's Nilakina. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Nick Richards. That's his third foul so far. It's time to take a glance again at that superb block. Oh, amazing indeed. And getting stops like that only encourages him to keep attacking on the offensive end. Charlotte making some changes. Williams has checked in for Richards. And Washington is subbed in for Hayward. New Orleans has gone 7 of 13 from downtown so far in this game. Alvarado outside. Pass to Zeller. Here's Big Dog. Launches it. It's rebounded by Charlotte. Bridges has got his fifth rebound in this one. Here's Nilakina. And a miss layup. I don't think the defense does enough out there to bother him. I think that one's all on him. Just a flat-out miss. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket is good, and he'll go to the line. So for the Hornets, Martin comes in for Bridges, and it's Smith in for Nilakina. in for Charlotte. Book Knight comes in for Smith. Keep going out there. No let up. And so in the game for the Hornets. At the forward spots, Hayward and Washington. Cody Martin is out there with Book Knight. And it's Williams in at center. Well, it's one thing to play good defense, but then to alter the shot and get the rebound. That's a good day's work. Ooh, lots of contact on the shot. So two free throws will follow that whistle. And a lot of NBA players and former players are getting into film production. How rewarding has that been, Greg? You know, B.A., storytelling is so gratifying and also so very important. Players do have a voice like never before. And these ventures are just another way of expressing that voice. Take a break. Take a break. And he can't get the first one. And what I appreciate about Gordon is he's a fighter, working his way back from that devastating leg injury in 2017. Still a solid contributor. Richards has checked in for Williams. Good on the second one. For New Orleans, they've gone one of four since the fourth quarter began. Here's Big Dog. Pass to Zeller. Nance outside. Now here's Zeller. Six on the shot clock. Nance, the pass to Zeller. Here's Big Dog. 
And the Pelicans miss again. And for the Hornets, they're shooting around 35% from the field so far. Now here's Hayward. Alvarado defending. Washington outside. Fires for three. That's in. Coming off an assist from Hayward. And their perimeter shooting numbers have been up since the start of the second half. Big Dog passes to Daniels. Another shot. And it's good on the layup. A stronger defensive presence would have saved them two points. It didn't seem like anybody was really aware there to go and collect that rebound in the possession. Now here's Hayward. Washington outside. And again, Charlotte with the triple. He's been terrific tonight, and with a little help from the other guys on the floor, they might be able to turn this game around. Here's Big Dog. Book Knight with a rebound. Charlotte has gone two of two from outside so far in the fourth. Pass to Hayward. Fourth quarter of play, and over three and a half minutes have gone by now. Here's Washington, and Washington powers it through. Gotta love the effort there. An undersized four who can really make things happen with that leaping ability. The Pelicans have got two of eight shots to drop in the final quarter. Here's Big Dog. And here's Zeller. Alvarado with it. For three. The shot, no good. Hayward attacking. And he'll take a trip to the line for two. Clearly got fouled on that shot. And that's going to be a foul on New Orleans. The coaching staff has to like this. Shoot. Hayward looking assertive and Gordon confident Hayward. on the physical take. The and with two. the new CBA, Brent, the league making things a little more challenging for the top spending teams. Yeah, B.A., is there a chance that big market teams become a little bit more frugal? Because above that $17.5 million apron, you lose the taxpayer mid-level. You can't shop the buyout the market like Take you used to to bolster a Do team some. that just needs maybe one veteran piece to finish off a season and put themselves in better position. There's definitely some trade restrictions that are going to keep teams from having some fluidity. So it's buyer beware, and the big spenders are going to have to be a little bit more careful. So for the Hornets, Miles Bridges checked in for Washington. Miller comes in for Martin. And it's Nilakina in for book night. Both free throws good from Hayward. New Orleans has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Alvarado, the pass to Nance. Over to the left wing. To the inside. Big dog. No good. Had a chance to end the run there. Hayward outside. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. Larry Nance picks one up. A sometimes deceptive player, Gordon has an impressive feel for how to get the defense to overcommit. Gordon Hayward, two shots. Take a break, take a break. Two shots. And he makes a first. And Grant, with the idea of league expansion, some have worried in the past that there's not enough talent to go around. You see that? You know, quite the contrary, B.A. I mean, the league's in a terrific place for talent, and there's definitely the depth for more teams to join the fray. The Pelicans making a switch here. Zeller's checked in. Both free throws good from Hayward. Pelicans shooting 53%. Good efficiency on offense so far. Pass to Zeller. Here's Liddell. Back to Zeller. Now Alvarado to the paint. Big dog. Good.
Big Dog's got 11 points here in the second half. Now that was a clever adjustment. I mean, that was a tough shot. Now, showing off a little bit on that one. That's a play when your coach goes, no, no. Okay, good play. Get back on defense. Their ball movement on this run has been tremendous. It's led to a lot of good, clean, open looks. A moment here for an injury report. Thanks, guys. I just talked with the Hornets head athletic trainer. A bruised hip is the diagnosis. So while there's a lot of pain, presumably no significant damage. And the timing of this injury hurts right in the middle of the schedule. Let's hope it's a quick recovery. B.A.? All right, that's good intel. We've definitely been thinking of him. And now we have some more clarity, guys. Yeah, they now have all the information they need in order to determine the next steps. Everybody wishing the best for him. We all know how badly he wants to be out there playing alongside his teammates and competing. New Orleans has gone 0 for 3 here in the fourth. Screen by Zeller. Big Dog passes to Zeller. Ooh, here's Zeller. Slams it home. The lead passes like that are so hard to defend. He never had to break his stride. So full speed, two points. Here's Charlotte. They're on. A 17 to 6 run. Pass to Richards. Here's Nilakina. Hayward, the pass to Bridges. And here's Richards.
Here's Miller. There's the three. Goes back up. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Second personal foul. 15 foul. At the line for the Hornets, Nick Richards. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first one falls. And you look at how screens are set in today's game. Brent, the screeners get away with a lot. B.A., you could call an illegal screen on almost every pick and roll now. There's a lot of leaning. There's a lot of moving. Guys are extended outside of their body with their feet. But offenses, they greatly benefit from the way the game is called, and they'll continue to take advantage of it. And so he hits both. And the Pelicans shooting only 29% since the fourth quarter began. Big Dog passes to Hawkins. And stolen by Bridges. Hayward outside. Played it in with a nice touch off the window. Hayward's got 11 points in the quarter. Well, they're still losing, but it's not because of him. He's been lights out this quarter. They've got a commanding lead. It just seems like everything is going their way. Pass to Zeller. Here's Liddell. Zeller with a screen on Bridges. Here's Big Dog. And it's all from three-point range. The Hornets have gone eight of nine here in the fourth quarter. Here's Nilakina. No good with the triple. Just not sure if he ran out of energy at halftime or what, but uh, so far just not himself in the second half. Big Dog passes to Alvarado. To the middle. Here's Zeller. Ooh, here's Zeller. Slams it home. And just a special delivery for the defense. Man, he just took the contact and still finished. Charlotte has gone two. four from the perimeter here in the fourth quarter. Pass to Miller. And Grant, you grew up in the D.C. area. A lot of great basketball players coming out of the DMV in recent years. Yeah, B.A., especially P.G. County with Kevin Durant, Jeremy Grant, and plenty of others. It was a great place to grow up in the DMV as a sports fan, and that legacy definitely continues. <laughs> no debate there. He, he got hammered. At the line for New Orleans, number two. Two shots. First free throw is good. Daniels has checked in for New Orleans. Oh, 
Both good from the line that time. Here's Nelikina. Pass to Bridges. Looking to get it going. Hayward outside. Here's Nelikina. Hey, from beyond the arc. And Miles Bridges is going to pick up the foul. That's foul number two for him. Second team foul. New Orleans has got nothing to fall from outside the arc here in the fourth. 0 for 4. Pass to Liddell. Here's Hawkins, guarded by Hayward. Hawkins, the pass to Big Dog. Here's Daniels, just five on the clock. Here's Big Dog. And again, no good by New Orleans. Well, his shooting has been a little bit below par. You think about what this lead would look like if he was on. Now here's Richards. Pass to Miller. No one near him. Count it. Miller's got four points now in the quarter. Nick Richards. Here's Big Dog. And there are some new league rules, Brent, to prevent those free-spending teams from severely outspending others. Yeah, it's kind of like helping them help themselves in some ways, B.A. There are teams that are way over the cap that can still keep the stars that they've got. But it'll be harder to acquire new players, free agents to sign the max deals and add them to your team if you've already spent. So... It's getting a little bit more spendy for those that already spent. Number two. Third personal foul. Teams give in the penalty. At the line for the Hornets, Frank Milikina taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That one's off. That one's no good. Well, New Orleans hasn't made the playoffs in consecutive years since 2008-2009. You know, B.A., that was back in the Chris Paul era. They only reached the postseason twice with Anthony Davis. But in recent years, injuries have prevented them from reaching their potential. And trust me, when the D's slow to react, he'll be the first guy to make them pay. Well, I know they don't have mobile devices out there for texting, so they might as well talk to one another. There are so many different ways to build a team, Brent. Making trades, you can use the draft, there's free agency. What do you think is the best route? Well, B.A., the, the one critical thing that we need to talk about is what market are we in? And that will start to restrict the ways that, or enhance the ways that you can build your team. For those L.A. teams and the New York teams, it's probably free agency. Memphis, OKC, San Antonio, you absolutely have to hit home runs in the draft. Charlotte has got two of five threes to go here in the fourth. Richards with a screen. Here's Miller. And the 10-footer finds the target. Miller's got six in the quarter. As a rookie, Miller is already a three-level score. Pass to Zeller. Takes a three. It's rebounded by Charlotte. It's safe to say they have dominated this game. The game wasn't even as close as the score says in a great win for the Pelicans. Pretty clear who the better team was today. They dominated in just about every phase of this game, Grant. <laughs> B.A., it's almost hard to think what didn't go well for them. Their plan, their execution, everything was absolutely on point. And they played well tonight, picking up win number 24 of the year. Only a two-game series, and they win both. They have to be satisfied with this. And even the opposing fans can't deny this was a sensational game for Big Dog. It looked like a couple times they might be wearing him down, but not the case. At the offensive end, he was just devastated. Here's Big Dog. 
inside. Good, and that makes him six for nine. A quality game for him so far. Showing us that killer instinct right now. No letting the foot off the gas for them. Yeah, up until that point, a competitive game, but once they broke through that barrier, it was all them. Complete control. And the Hornets with possession here. The Pelicans getting their last shot to go. Here's Miller. And that one drops. Yeah, I like whenever Miller uses his size to his advantage, especially down near the rim. Two-second difference between shot and game clock. Screen by Zeller. Big dog passes to Zeller. And a nice finish on the layup. An impressive job by this team. And you really can't discount the impact of this crowd here. Awesome to see their output tonight, trying to urge their team on. And that can always help. That, that home advantage of home fans getting you going, fully on display here. And so it's the Pelicans taking care of business in this one. Showing that they're the far superior team. They win it going away. I'll tell you what. Give it up for their fans. They love to watch this team dominate. You best believe they're all going home happy tonight. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. Alongside Brent Berry, Grant Hill, and Allie LaForce, this is Brian Anderson with our entire 2K crew thanking you for watching. And we'll see you next time. about you carving up their deed. I've been mortified, fortified. I ain't regular, feel like Jordan Webb. Traumatized, victimized, seen some of Run into the that's the motto. I don't see it coming to an end like legato. Get chipped like cicado, send a wave through the hood. Now it's sounding like Roboto. Why you eat bread with avocado? We be trying to before I land in our tomato. Singing all my sorrows on Apollo. I've been trying to pave the way, but they didn't tell me it was potos. Mm. America ain't dreaming if it's skimming when the uh, we all know it's black, black genius. Everybody love the culture, they be black by convenience. Sounding like a rep. Charlie saw my wallet, now she think a answer. Whoa, telling me she wanted me to trying to get saved, baby. I am not the answer. No, I can never let the with a kiss on my lips. Like, oh, I am not a with a lip. I'm a man with a gift, and I'm doing my like, oh, tell the mother I'm the, I'm the man in the city, and my bank account bigger, and my bigger. That's without a doubt. I'm a hundred steps ahead. That's a lot of mouth. That's a lot of clout. What you all about? What your dollar mouth? You a boy stout. I'm a big dog. Tell the truth. I don't get charged. It's time to corny. Turn it. Oh. Gotta do more, gotta be more, 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 more, g
Control his spinning, new bands printed, nails acrylic. Wash my hands for I touch these winners. Brand new denim on tears, wet it. Fans who fed up with that I dropped. I'm still hot, shorty. Pick a subject, need to switch that quick. For I dip, I got 10, 20 business calls, okay. Send me those details, deals on emails. Shorty want my clothes like I did it for a resale. Hold up, I'ma be there. ETA late, cause I gotta do you ain't been in. I'ma get a fee that, make them all say. W first name, stepping shoes, you ain't see it Introduce me to a new name, I forgot it I got shows, I got mama, I got shorty, I got On my phone, better watch out for the decline Ayy, on my body, what the f*** I design Ayy, pockets for how many phones, throw a piece on wait, one hand, busy case, she call me I be in the city when I need No fame, no pressure, still a contest Why wait, Hey, I don't let it ride No ways, yeah, she just wanna <laughs> Only difference between me and you is me and you on me, not you. That's my favorite part of men to me, like how my digits do. With that, that's some heavy, and I'm sipping Fiji too. Took a photo up in Fuji, mine's and look like all these views. I don't have yet, I'ma need a couch, a PS5, and a bad. I'ma need a towel, wash my face off. Our I just need percentage for them, I say you have doubted. Yeah. So this in a bounce, cause that me. Paint the canvas like Ali, paint the cameras like. I get drip before I leave. Yeah, yeah. The crystal on the lease. Yeah. I'm just gonna stay on the yeah. ease. She pay the fee. Yeah. She got expensive habits. I said me too. I'm clean. Yeah. Okay, left the. Uh, and I don't got time. Better hurry up. Yeah. Under 20, I did Forbes. Under 30, yeah. yeah. Shorty proud I did that form without a formula. Yeah. Dip outside the party if there's business conversation. I don't leave the crib without a code like. Welcome to this week's episode of NBA 2K TV. We've been checking out your plays, and they're bringing it on the 2K courts. Well, it takes a team to get...